Earn.gg is a website where you can earn free money. If you go to the Earn tab, you will see different providers offering video advertisements, and you can pretty much leave this running all day while you're gaming, and you will receive points. These points can be redeemed for real money, including Bitcoins and PayPal, as well as CSGO gambling websites and even gift cards. Make sure you check out the site down below in the description and use my referral link. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Today we're going to be working on our enchantment room. Uh, we're going to be moving it from the area where we first started off, and we're going to make it into this building here, so it's going to be closer to this town. But I just want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support everyone has been leaving on this series. I do apologize about the little bit of lack in uploads for the past few days, but that should be back to normal, so I apologize about that. And I will begin doing some more streams in the coming few days, as well uh, if you guys don't know I am taking one summer course in college uh, just to like get ahead of things and uh, I do have some exams but then I'll be free July 7th it's only two times a week so that's why it's been a little bit lacking in uh, consistency for the past few days and besides that also having the den which is going to be released June 30th for beta so I'm gonna have another video about that but if you guys can go ahead down below in the description and go check out our links for our Twitter and Instagram if you reach 100 likes on both of the uh, social media accounts we're gonna be giving away a rank on our server and uh, guys I'm really excited because there's a lot of things coming to you guys in the next few weeks now uh, and I'm just truly stoked for what's gonna happen so let's get started in today's episode and let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and reach 200 likes I know we can do it you guys have been destroying the like button for this series and I want to see how much we can continue to keep this going uh, I really do appreciate it. you guys are driving this series forward even more um, and just giving me such great feedback in the comment section so if you guys can keep that up that'd be absolutely absolutely fantastic so what we did in the last episode was it was a little bit of a rough episode because I did tell you guys and I explained that the recording went uh, pretty much really bad for me so I had to kind of redo it and I couldn't really do much besides showing guys what I built it's a complicated story check out the last episode if you want to know what happened but this is what we did we finished up our like dog adoption center area um, and it looks quite nice I'm really pleased with it and a lot of you guys were saying it looked quite cool so I was really happy to hear that and uh, I did get some advice to probably put the leaves a little bit higher as well that's something we're probably going to do eventually but today we're not going to be working on the dog adoption area we're actually going to go ahead like i mentioned we're going to work on the enchantment room we're going to quickly grab this bed with us uh, i usually always forget that and uh, we're going to start first by placing i think what we're going to do is we're actually going to start by um I think we're just going to do the flooring. And what I wanted to do with this building was actually the flooring to work with some jungle wood. Now, I gone ahead and actually got tons of wood for us so we don't have to go and chop any wood down. So it's really just an easier process for us at the moment. Uh, I got a lot of jungle wood. And recently, I've been thinking I want to work a little bit with more jungle wood in our builds because I've started to do that slightly. I believe I tried it in one of the builds here. I'm not entirely sure. But I think it was the fishing dock. That's where I wanted to actually incorporate more... Um, more jungle wood. Oh, I think I messed this up here. This, eh, whatever, not a big deal. We'll just, we're just gonna clear out this path. But, uh, like I said, I want to work a little bit more with jungle wood. I also been thinking about, uh, you guys were talking about, for example, having uh, the docks expanded a bit more and having some mining areas and all these other cool ideas you guys have been suggesting in the comment sections. Please keep those up. If I'm not doing those ideas, doesn't mean I can't. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna be doing them in the future. Most likely I will. So keep leaving me all your fantastic ideas. I do truly appreciate it. It really does help out for episodes and kind of what to build and you know recently I've been kind of uh, not lacking creativity but I've been trying to think what I want to do to kind of expand this area because we have so many homes and structures but I'm thinking we have to try to spice things up like that's why I started to do this market area in the last episode which is one thing I'm really proud of I think it's gonna look really cool and a lot of you guys have been also saying why do I not have a bigger house than that shack over there and uh, yeah that's that's a good point I mean I kind of had this structure developed in like the first few episodes but I'm really not too happy with this house it's too big of a design and I think it's not really fitting the area so this could be changed into a whole entire different building uh, so with that being said we might have to move into a new area for a new home so I have to figure out where the heck that's gonna be but uh, yeah let me know what I should theme the house some people said to build it in the mountains and that's that's something I'm actually kind of considering in all honesty I think that would be kind of cool another person also mentioned which is what we're gonna do today today is actually to change up up some of the clay because a lot of you were saying you know kind of change it up a bit don't keep it all the same color you know what 
I kind of agree with that. We should add a little bit more color to any of the other buildings we use. So from now on, we're going to try and stick with like three colors, three main colors that we're going to have around here for the builds. And I think that's a it's a good compromise. I think it's a good idea. It's definitely going to add a little bit more flair because uh, it definitely was getting a little bit too bland with the same color uh, homes and structures here. So I think that was a great idea. Whoever that was, I really do appreciate that idea. And that's why I'm doing it today because you know what? It's a really good idea. It's definitely going to help us a lot. Now, I don't know if I have... I mean, I have two more stacks, but I feel like I don't have enough to complete this whole entire wall here. But maybe we do. Maybe we have enough. Uh, I'm not going to work on the exterior of this build. I'm just going to do the inside a little bit like I usually always do. Usually, uh, when we start a build, it's usually the second episode after that build that we actually add some more detail to it. So that's what we guys can expect in the next episode. But like I said, if you guys have any other great ideas, please go ahead and let me know. A lot of you guys were saying, when are we going to go and work on that XP farm? And we will. I'm thinking next episode we can even do the XP farm. I think it's time to do that because we want to get some better enchants. And it only makes sense because now we do have an enchantment uh, room that's going to look really official when it's all done. So I think it only makes sense to go ahead and get that XP farm going so we can get some better enchants. So you know what? I think maybe that's the go-to plan right now. I'm going to fill this in because I don't want that like that. There we go. And I think now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to try to use jungle wood. Now, this is going to be a bit of a, um, not really a worry for me, but I don't want to make it where it's just going to look really bad. So I'm just going to take like a full stack, actually. Just take that full stack of jungle wood and whatever extra we have. And we're going to go ahead and use jungle wood for this build, complete build. We're going to use it for the flooring. Now, I'm going to spice it up a little bit. But first, what I want to do is I want to just fill in this whole entire floor. Now, I don't even know if I have enough. I think we need more than just a stack to fill in this room. Now, this is quite a big room compared to the others. The others were actually supposed to be, one of them were actually supposed to be the enchantment room. But when I looked inside, there was really no space for really any enchantment room to go. So I had to make one that's a little bit bigger, and I figured this one would be a little bit further out because we can start expanding out into, into this area a little bit more because I think it's about time. And I do want to go and try some different things around here. Uh, I have a lot of ideas. Uh, but definitely I'm considering many of your ideas as well from the comment section. That's really what's driving all these creative ideas as well. And I have to organize this room. It's been such a long time. Jeez, oh my gosh. I've been slacking on that. I apologize. I thought I had some more... Some, I'm pretty sure I have some more jungle. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. I was worried. I was like, I'm pretty sure I grabbed so much jungle wood. Um, and let's see, what else do I need? I want to use some other type of wood. And also, I want to try to use some... There you go, cobblestone wall. Let's actually grab some of this. Let's throw away all, all these flowers. We don't need all these flowers. What are they doing in here? All right, let's get all these out. We're going to leave the quack shield out for now. And we're going to put the sand over there. And that should be good enough. All right, let's go skedaddle back over there. But uh, definitely the color contrast is a great idea. We do have to make a... I mean, a horse stable would be something we can consider and probably put it over there. Uh, because we have to start kind of actually making our horse stable. Um, but so far, I'm pleased with the flooring. Uh, I actually thought it would be a little bit too light of a color, but it really works well with the green. So because of that, I think we're going to stick with this. And I did say that I actually want to uh, work on one more thing, which is to add a little bit more detail to the floor. I don't want to keep it too flat and simple like this. That is why I brought along some jungle wood. So we're going to actually remove some of... I feel like it should be random. I don't know. Let's go ahead and make some jungle wood stairs then. Let's do that first. I think, is that even, do they even have jungle wood stairs? I think they do. Uh, let's go ahead and see if they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. So this is my idea right here. I want to use some of these. And I'm going to place them randomly around here just to kind of give this place a little bit of an interesting look, not just to have it all flat. Uh, like I said, I want to work with making some volume around here, make th making things pop out uh, more than they usually do. That's something I'm just, you know, like I'm trying to improve the best I can here when it comes to builds. And I think this is probably the best way to do so. So what I want to do right now is just pretty much place these in here all randomly so that they actually kind of look like this place has been kind of like not beat up, but just kind of make it look a little bit, you know, like this. I think this just looks cool. I like this. Let's see how it looks. And see what you guys think as well because that's the most important thing. Now, the reason I left the middle open is because right now we're going to go and place that enchantment table. And we do have some of our books. Where the heck did I put my books? 
Uh, there they are. Okay, let's eat up some food. It's still turning day. I mean, it's still day. It's slowly going towards night, so we're gonna have to go and place our bed quite soon. But I'm thinking this is the point for centered right there. That's perfect. And now we just have to put the books around here. So that's pretty much it. The bookshelves go around here. A lot of you guys were also saying don't waste the corners because they don't really help you with anything. So because of that, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to go and waste those corners over there. And we're going to make them double stacked. So a lot of you guys were saying that's a better idea. And you know what? You guys are completely right. We're going to have to make some more bookshelves eventually as well. This is definitely not enough. Uh, but we do have some more space. We have to do some here. Oh, wait. That's a corner one. No. God dang it, Alex and GG. Good job. All right. We'll place them over there. There we go. Right? I'm pretty sure that's good. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We have some extras too, but it's only three, so I'm not really going to waste those right now. I'm just going to keep them on the side. But there we go. That looks good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. To be honest, I do like the flooring like this, though. I really do. I think the flooring is, is quite good like this. So let's go to sleep. It's turning night. I'm pretty sure it's night. Come on now. Hey, look at what's up, horsey. There's a lot of animals around here that just keep wandering around, which isn't bad, but, like, the horses especially, they always get attracted to whatever I'm building. It's, like, really interesting. Like, look. He's like, wow, this is a really nice building, Alex. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, there's space to go around, so we're definitely gonna have to do something here. But, like I said, this, this stuff looks cool like this. I don't mind it. Now, I want to add some, uh, I guess I was gonna go with actual jungle wood is this the jungle wood yeah i want to do jungle wood in the corners here that would be really cool now even though the outside structure is not jungle wood the inside can be completely different so that's kind of my go-to right now uh, because i want to keep the outside similar theme structure like the same same type of oak all around because i think that would look fine but from the inside i don't mind it to be a little bit different so i think i think that's totally cool oh this will look cool does that look better i have no idea I feel like that looks a little bit strange, though. So we're going to take that down. Uh, we're not going to do that ever again. <laughs> so uh, let's go use some spruce. And let's go ahead and make some stairs, like, going downwards. Even that's fine. And then we can add something to, like, some light. Some glowstone would be nice to put around here. I don't know if I have any glowstone. That's actually a good thing. I should go check. We did go to the nether, but I don't know if I grabbed a lot of glowstone during the time. I think I mostly grabbed some quartz for XP and just kind of like looked around and, and kind of scavenged some little bit of things. Which reminds me, we should go and find a fortress sometime soon. That would be definitely necessary. But yeah, it doesn't look like I have any leftover glowstone, which is something I'm going to have to go and, and hunt down for some more of that. Let's get the doors with us as well. So, all right, that's something we're going to have to do in the next few episodes, get some glowstone. Because I do want to add some more lights around here, and torches are nice, but too many torches kind of looks weird. So, um, I guess that's what we're going to have to do in the next episode, possibly. So, let's see how it looks so far from the inside. Definitely looks awesome. I really do like the inside. One thing I did forget was some leaves. And I don't know if I have any more leaves, and I don't think I have any shears. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot anyways because we have plenty of time. And I'm pretty sure I had some shears laying around here somewhere. Um, if not, I guess we can make some if I still have some leftover iron. But if I'm not mistaken, I did remember making some shears in the past. So... Could they be in that chest over there? Is there a chest? Yeah, there is a chest over there. But I don't think it's in that chest. Why would it be in that chest, Alex? And maybe it's in this chest here. There's so many random chests. I have to get organized. This is like such a bad thing right now. I am not even close to organized. This is horrible. Uh, let's get some glass, I guess. But uh, all right. So we have no shears. And it is raining, which is a great, great, great thing, which I really do not like the rain. Um, and if, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go to our shack, our starter shack. There's got to be plenty of stuff over there for sure. I mean, let's be honest. I did store a lot of stuff there before. But, uh, man, we haven't been down this path in a while. Most of our episodes have been, like, all the way over there. Uh, so it's kind of a weird feeling coming back here. But there has to be some type of iron, if not some shears. Wait, what about Scooby-Doo? Oh, my gosh, Scooby-Doo, what's up, man? Yo, this is like a perfect shelter for you. You know what? We're going to make a small design here for you, man. I think that's what we're going to do, possibly. Well, let's go grab some rest so we can turn off this horrible rain, this horrible weather. But you know what? Scooby-Doo has a pretty cool house over there. Let's go see if I have any iron or some shears laying around. Uh, I swear I thought I saw some shears. Oh, there we go. We got oak leaves. That's that's more than enough. Uh, let's see anything else in here. Some more shears. Perfect. We'll take the shears. But let's throw away... What do we need? Don't need some dirt. Yeah, we have plenty of dirt. Why do we have so much dirt? Like, why do we need all that? I don't think we ever would need that much ever. Uh, but guys, I was just thinking about this just now randomly. Look at this. This is actually a, quite a cool area for, for Scooby to be staying in. So we can even do like a small, simple design like this. 
Let's actually give this a quick go. Do I have slabs? I do have slabs. All right, man, this could be a quick makeshift home for you. A DIY project just for Scooby here because he's sitting here in the rain and it's like, why, are, why would he be sitting in the rain like that? We got to make him, I mean, he did go under here for shelter, but like, come on now. We got to build him something decent, right? And I think this is kind of cool. I don't mind this. This is actually quite cool. Uh, I would say it would be kind of nice to add maybe some, I don't know, some fence, some, some stone wall like around here. But then again, that would look kind of weird, I feel. So let's go ahead and just put some like oak like this. Here we go. And then what we could do is we can just add uh, possible slabs going like across. So he has that little gap over there. And there we go. So like a little area for, for Scooby here. I think he I think he would appreciate this. This is like a little side project I wasn't expecting to do just now. But there we go. He has his little little home. So yeah, man, looking good, Scooby. There we go. Let's do this. Add a little bit of a design. Of course, we always have to incorporate something here. Uh, there we go. Let's connect it kind of like up there. A little bit of a path. There we go. Perfect. All right, looking sharp. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. A little quick project, but uh, I figured because it looked kind of cool just for Scooby to be sitting there, and I think he'd appreciate me kind of building him a little small shelter, but that looks really cool. I like that. I don't mind it. It's a quick build, so we might have to fix it up eventually. We can't leave it like that, but uh, I am think I'm pretty happy with so far the progress we're making, and especially with this. I have some cool ideas with the leaves. I like to work with leaves, and, and I'm starting to develop my own like design and pattern to this, so I'm kind of happy. Uh, I want to get some wood trap doors, some of the leaves, and let's get the oak. So one idea I have is possibly just putting trap doors like that. That would be kind of cool for like temporary use because we don't have any glowstone. So this could be the perfect compromise. It looks kind of cool. Definitely looks awesome. I kind of like that. And we can also add some like leaves around here in the corners. So what we could do is let's see how it would look if we put a fence compared to... Let's try this. Let me let me try this out right now. Let's see how we do a design, a basic design. So if you put like, for example, leave here, leave here, and then we put these here. This won't be able to connect. See, that's one issue. So we won't be able to have that there. These two can stay there, which is fine. But then that's just too much, I think, personally. So let's go ahead and take those out of there. I think that's just too much. And let's go ahead and just try... So maybe leave it simple like that for now. I don't know. I'm thinking like that's just too much to keep it so busy like that. So what we could do is how cool would it look to do this? Oh, you know what? I like that. This is actually cool. I do like that. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to make like a, a wraparound of leaves. Now, this is a really tropical design inside here, but I don't I don't mind. It looks kind of cool. I'm going to try to do as much interesting design, something I usually don't usually do. And you know what? That looks so good. I like that. All right, let's go get ahead and get some more leaves from around here now that we have some shears. Um, took us a while to finally have shears. I, I think I was looking for shears in future episodes too, and I didn't have any iron on me, which is kind of pathetic, but whatever. Yeah, this is the structure I was working on, but I don't know if I'm a big fan of it so far. So eventually we're probably going to have to, um, remodel it or use it for something else. And there go my shears. So I think we're going to go eventually and have to get some more iron to make some more shears because they're gone. They, they just went ripped. So yeah, this is like a little area I was working on, maybe having like a deck over here, but I don't know. I'm still... Still iffy about that being my house. It feels too big for a house, but I don't know. Let's see what you guys think in the comment sections. I haven't really showed that to, to many of you guys, so it's kind of like the first time you're seeing it possibly on an episode. Uh, but we didn't even need so many leaves for that. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and close this up at the top, though. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And let's see. We can definitely add some fence posts going down from the side. Just doing a little bit of little detailing here and there do the same thing here oh what i also want to do is something that we did at the dog adoption center was kind of that little overhang in the front that i want to try and replicate here that's something i really want to try because i do like how that looked um and i want to try to do that as well here so do we not do i not have oak i do have oak okay i was like how could i not have oak so what i did was it was a one door entrance which is kind of enough for a one door entrance here so we can just close this all in here we go 
And now we can just add this, which looked like it was three blocks apart. So one, two, three. So it would definitely be right here and just kind of connect to the top. This I don't mind. This is like a new design I'm recently trying out and I do like this a lot personally. So I'm gonna try and uh, continue to use this approach. Um, so let me know what you guys think about it, but let's go give it a shot and finish up the front here. So I believe I just put like a bush there just for temporary use. Close this like this, there we go. And then in the front or in the top, I'm pretty sure I put a spruce block. Not like that though. I think it was right on the top like that. And then I put, I believe, yeah, there we go. That's exactly how it looks. And then we have some fences that we just to finish this off like this. Now I think I used, yeah, I did use that. So I used the stone wall to connect it on the bottom layer like this. Here we go. And that was it. And I do like this design. I think this is a really cool, simple, unique design. And um, it definitely looks good from there. It looks good from here. So we might be seeing more of this possibly. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. But you know what? I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of it. I'm pretty happy about it. Let's go ahead and add this door that we got a while ago. The spruce door. Here we go. And you know what? That looks quite good. I'm quite happy with this so far, guys. Look at this. This is turning out to be a really cool enchantment room. We're definitely going to add uh, not a second floor, but we're going to add the roof uh, during a stream or something. But I'm really pleased with how this is turning out for today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go ahead if we can reach 200 likes. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, let me know any ideas and feedback you have in mind down below in the comment sections. I'd really love to read them and use any of your ideas in this series. So that to me is big support and I do appreciate all of you who are just leaving all that support on this series. Also, go ahead and check out the description. There's a lot of links that you guys can go follow me on my Twitter, my Instagram. Uh, go ahead and follow me there. You can also go follow The Den, which is a server that Beast and I own that's coming out June 30th for the beta release. We have our Instagram and Twitter for The Den. Go ahead and give us a follow there as well. Once we reach 100 followers, we're going to be giving away a rank on the server. So it's going to be really cool. And I'll talk about the beta release um, in the next few days. So you guys kind of get a hang of that. It's, you know, it's coming out soon. So most likely tomorrow you'll have your uh video about the den and all that good stuff but in the meantime go ahead and give us that follow on our social media and other than that subscribe if you guys are new hit that bell as well for notification and become a part of notification squad and uh some little bit of a sneak uh sneak peek idea that i have in mind is uh i'm thinking of doing some merch so uh stay tuned for that so see you guys next time in another episode of the minecraft survival let's say peace out my name is alex and stay foxy